We're more or less cross to Kiev and correspondent to Gulliver Craig. Gulliver, the Ukrainian president on Sunday claiming his forces were on the counteroffensive around Severodonetsk. What's the latest? Well, it's hard to get the very latest because one of the Ukrainian commanders there said the situation changes every hour and it's really... Um, doesn't really mean much to say how much of Severodonetsk is currently in Ukrainian hands or in Russian hands. It does feel as though the Ukrainians have had some successes in pushing back Russian forces there, but it also, by the accounts of this Ukrainian commander, seems as though Russia is just prepared to put uh, huge amounts of resources, including human resources, into this fight for Severodonetsk. And it's really urban warfare, block by block, with different areas of the city changing hands all the time. The Ukrainians have been very candid about the fact that they are outnumbered, um, both in terms of personnel and also outgunned uh, in terms of military equipment. And that's why they keep on hammering this point about how much they really, really, really want their Western and allies to send more artillery and to send it soon. Send it soon. Are there signs of that? Well, yeah, there was this announcement made by the United Kingdom, right, that they're going to send uh, self-propelled howitzers. That's a very um, important piece of equipment for the Ukrainians to have. It's really one of the best things for them to have because it can allow them to fire and then move on very quickly. And I believe that uh, this equipment is particularly quick also with targeting. I mean, I'm not an expert on weaponry myself, but that's the kind of thing that the Ukrainians are asking for, certainly kind of things the uh, Ukrainians are asking for. The Associated Press is reporting this Monday that uh, uh, the Russians have started handing over uh, bodies. Uh, so there are back channels, there are discussions on these matters. A couple of days ago, there was a um, swap of, I think, 160 bodies of uh, Ukrainian soldiers for Russian soldiers. So that's happening on a one-for-one -one basis. Um, what Ukraine is very concerned about, public opinion in Ukraine particularly concerned about the fate of the 2,500 fighters who were in Azov style, Ukrainian soldiers from the Azov Regiment, from the 32nd Brigade of the Marines, from the Border Guards, various different formations, all now in Russian custody. And Volodymyr Zelensky was speaking about them today, saying that the military intelligence of Ukraine is dealing with this, has an eye on them, knows what's happening with them, but can't reveal the secrets about it. And Volodymyr Zelensky said that their high profile meant that he felt confident that at the very least they would not be being tortured by the Russians. A lot of people in Ukraine are worried that these soldiers may be being tortured at the moment as we speak. Stay with us, Gulliver, because we're going to hear from another precinct. Uh, Russia's foreign minister furious over uh, countries denying his plane airspace so that he could travel uh, to Belgrade, uh, to Serbia, one of the few countries in Europe that's kept open friendly relations with Moscow. Произошло, конечно, немыслимое. Я понимаю интерес, который вы проявляете к нашей оценке этих возмутительных действий. Произошло, в общем-то, лишение суверенного государства права на осуществление внешней политики. And of course, Gulliver Craig, it goes back to the question a lot are asking, which is, uh, do you keep the channels open with Moscow? Of course, Serbia is one of the few countries that not only keeps the channels open, but entertains friendly relationships uh, with uh, the Kremlin. Well, I think that's the key point, right? Uh, you entertain friendly relationships by receiving the foreign minister and uh, all the kind of pomp and formality that goes with that, that's going a lot further than keeping the channels open. You can keep the channels of communication open by speaking to Vladimir Putin or Sergei Lavrov um, or um, the Russian defense minister, whose name escapes me momentarily, on the phone. Uh, that's a way of keeping the channels open without having to give it any kind of symbolic value and suggest that you are displaying any kind of friendship with the Russians. Gulliver Craig reporting live uh, from Kyiv. Many thanks uh, for that update.